Hi, it's Dave. Project Ranger video number two. 93 Ford Ranger, four wheel drive, sport, 3.0, V6, five speed tranny. Now, uh, this is the truck that I bought probably about a month ago from a buddy of mine. It sat in his barn for about three years. He was a construction worker in the city, he drove it back and forth to work. Has 164,000 miles on it, but they're mostly highway miles because he drove it down to the city. He's probably put a couple hundred miles or more a day on it, so that's all right. It's mostly highway miles. Uh, motor does run really good uh, after sitting for three years in a barn. Amazingly, we put a battery in it, the motor fired right off. The um, reason I bought it is because the tranny locked in fourth gear. Common problem for the Ford Rangers with that transmission. Uh, just locked in fourth gear. He drove it home that way, fried the clutch, and parked in his barn and never did anything with it since then. So we'll go back around in the garage here. Um, last video I showed you, I had it jacked up in the garage. Tranny was out. So here it is. This is the transmission. All rebuilt. Ready to go back in. Uh, my dad rebuilt it for me. Uh, rebuilt it with mostly parts. Uh, necessary plus a few other extra seals and gaskets and some bearings and replace the rear shaft and a few other things in it so tranny's all ready to go back in got a brand new clutch that's ready to go back in let's go back out here and see what we're working on out here um project's going along pretty good and we'll come back here and oh box is gone Where, where'd the box go oh there it is boxes on the ground. Um, I just took the box off. Took me about an hour to do that. Not too bad, pretty simple. I had a little bit of a struggle with one of the bolts. Uh, the only one that was a main problem was this front one right here, right behind the driver door. Now, that bolt was a little tough, as you can see. Gas tank's right there. So we're talking 15 years of dust, dirt, rust. So that bolt was a little bit of a struggle, but the rest of them all came out as either six bolts that hold the box on. As you can see, the box is held on with torque bolts, and the clips are actually right part of the frame, so it's pretty simple. Um, I've got the bolts laying over here on the tool box that I took out of the box also. Um, as you can see, these are the bolts pretty fairly long bolts um, they came out pretty easy like I said five of them came out really really simple no problem just had to spray a little bit of a little bit of WD-40 on them but they came out real simple except for the one that of course broke I just put a big bar on it and broke it but that's not a concern to me because the reason why that's okay with me is because I'm putting a two inch body lift in there. I ordered it off of eBay earlier this week so I'm expecting that to come hopefully UPS probably within a couple days today's Saturday so I'm hoping that it'll come probably Monday or Tuesday so I decided since we're gonna put a two inch body lift in it eventually I'm going to put a four inch suspension lift so I'm expecting two inches of body four inches of suspension so I figured take the box off we're gonna blow the frame all off. I got most of the rust now blown off with just air. A lot of big chunks of rust. I mean, you probably can't see it, but there's rust pieces all over the ground. Like I said, 15 years of rust. So um, We're also going to, in the process, we're going to replace those two brake lines, the one that go right from the axle over to each wheel. We're going to replace those while we've got the box off. Replace a few other brake lines as necessary. Exhaust looks decent. I'm going to sandblast the frame here pretty soon, getting ready to do that. And then I'm going to spray it. I have a spray gun and I've got some black oil based enamel, or sorry, black oil based paint that I'm going to spray the, all the frame down so it all looks nice and new and shiny. Um, body's not too bad. Cab corners are real nice. There's no rust anywhere. Everything looks real good give you a little update on what I've done since I've had the truck. I did a little bit of interior work. Um, 
took the carpet out, actually brought it to a professional and had the carpet shampooed. Now most of it came out, there's still a few little stains, but it's definitely very, very much better than what it was the last time before I took the carpet out. Like I said, this truck sat in a barn for probably three years, so trust me, it was an awful wrenching smell that was just, as soon as you opened the door, you couldn't stand it. But it's better now. Um, the seats, I took the factory seats out and went with bucket seats. As you can see, they're power. Power's all plugged in. That works good. Seats work nice. Power seats. Power driver seat manual passengers. They're bucket seats out of a, I'm going to guess, newer than a 2000, newer between a 2000 or 2003 Ford Explorer. Um, since then, I've put a stereo in it, took the factory stereo out, which didn't work, put in a Pioneer CD player that I had laying around for a while. Um, as you can see, like I said, it's hard to read, but it's 164,000 miles. Terrier's not too bad. Mm, still feel a little stains here and there. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but otherwise it looks good. Um, body's not too bad. Don't really have any future plans for paint yet. Haven't really thought about painting the body yet. Right now, I'm just uh, anticipating getting the frame sandblasted get that painted uh, we're going to go with a two inch body lift um, and another reason for the two inch body lift is because when we took the transmission out it was a pain in the butt to get the tranny out um, the way that the tranny is mounted in there underneath the body underneath there there's a little bit of a lip, and anybody that's ever maybe taken a tranny out of one of these, it's a real pain in the butt because there's a lip underneath there that you can get the two top tranny bolts out, but the problem is, is you can't get them all the way out because the body's in the way. You, It would almost be easier if a person could lift the body up because there's a lip that goes around there, and you can unbolt them, the bolt, the tranny bolt from the engine, but you can't get them all the way out you have to back them out and then pull them out with the tranny so that was kind of a little uh, incentive for me to put a two inch body lift in it before we put the tranny back in in the new clutch and everything but um that's project ranger right there this is how it's going it's going pretty good weather looks like it's hopefully going to permit today it's two clouds in the sky but i think we'll be okay yet I'm going to go ahead and end this video soon, and I'm going to finish blowing it off, get ready to start sandblasting it, and then I can go ahead and get it painted today. And then what we'll do is when once the frame is painted, I'm going to put it in the garage there and let it sit for a couple days because the paint requires at least 24 hours to dry because it is an oil-based paint. So, But once that's all painted, it should look really nice. So I will go ahead end this video right here I'll keep everybody updated I'll let you know how Project Ranger is going on this is the end of Project Ranger video number two